Hey friends, Dubmaster Khan here. Thank you for stopping by the channel. This tutorial is going to be on how to get realistic sounding reggae drums in the computer. I just want to start off with a disclaimer that of course I know a real drummer that knows how to play reggae in a nice studio, properly recorded, is going to be better than using drum samples. However, with that said, in my experience of 12 years, I have found that if you use the right samples and you know what you're doing as far as what you're trying to recreate, then it is possible to make realistic sounding drums. So I've prepared a track here for this video that has a one drop style drums as well as a really nice swingy groove. So let's take a listen. Okay, I think you guys get the idea. Now, this is a one drop style song, one drop style beat, like I said. So let's just take a listen to the drums here, starting with the roll. You hear that? Tet, 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 tet. So what makes this song significant as far as the drums? Well, it starts with the hi-hat and the swing. So if we just look at the hi-hat track here, you'll see that here you're starting with the low velocity on the one. And then on the two, which is where the piano and the guitar chop are going to go, it's really loud intensity back to on the three which is where the which is where the kick and the rim shot live if I highlight those so here's the here's the kick and here's the rim shot so on the three is also called the one drop that the hi-hat is going to be not very loud but right here this guy right here this is the one that introduces the swing into the song. It's the t -t 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 -t. it's the and one, and one, t -t -t -t. and two, right? So let's solo these drums again. I'll show you what I mean. And one, and one, and one, right? And sometimes it's done with a a tom. You're accentuating the and one and two. Now let's listen to, because this is really important to understand the drums, let's listen to the organ, the bubble organ here. I did that incorrectly. Let me turn groups off. Okay, so, so that's the and. And if you look at where this is, so see here it says 161 at the very top. That's the amount of swing because your quarter note is here on 2, 1. But this is the amount of swing, which is 161, 161, 141, around there. So if I go back to the hi-hat on that swung part, that one this sorry this guy here what does it say 144 so it's kind of swinging it's not perfectly on time which would be here one uh three one it doesn't sound right if i quantize that it's early right so i'll go back and actually I'm just trying to 
show you how every element of this song is is on that and part it's accentuating the swing so if i go to the skank guitar and even on the bass see on this note on the bass if i zoom in here what's the start of that 121 it's a little bit late right 161 here 121 in fact I actually took this song and I quantized it so let's like let's listen to the difference of it swinging and not Okay, so I think I've shown you guys how important the swing is on a one drop style song. Now let's start off with the roll. What does what does the roll look like in the MIDI roll, in the MIDI piano roll? So here it is. So you can see the three is where that the what you're rolling into is where it lands. So here you go. Da -da -da -ba, boom, right? And then if you play with this too much, you'll see it won't sound right. Actually, that sounds okay still. But if I move this too close like this, See, it's not a natural roll. So I've played with this in the mini roll here for years. Boom, right? And then you can add another one. Right? And then add another tom. So it looks like this. It sounds like this. This right here is the quintessential reggae roll and it's heard almost in every song it's how a lot of bob marley's songs start right carlton barrett so here's another one that i did so that one is not a roll but it's just two hits ba -ba 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 -boom, right and you can see that the start of this is on 156 which just means it's late right if I bring it up here, it's too early. Sorry, too late. It just gives it a nice roll into it. So let's talk about some variation that we can do on this drum beat. We can add some more uh, some rim shots. So here we go. Okay, so we'll just join these. Now, the one that you hear all the time is actually moved over. But this is too early. It's got to go in line with that swing. So, 153 or so. We'll make this one. Yeah, there we go. 
go. See, I was pretty on time that one. 141, that's like right where, that's right. See, this one's a little early at 73, so I'll move it back. You know, 141 to 161, around there is a good swing. That was too late. Too early, actually. Let's see? So I'm just going and I'm putting them where the swinginess is. Hope that makes sense. The other thing you can do is some variation on the hi-hat. So right here on this and, we'll just find a So I gotta move this a little bit forward just so that you can hear it open and close. And then I can copy that, put it right here. Right? The opportunities are really endless. I wanted to add another. See, part of this is you got to make the velocity of when it lands a little louder. And that's not working out too good. There we go. Uh, yeah, let me just take a minute to talk about my samples. So these are my samples. Back, I don't know, a few years ago, it was really hard to find reggae samples. So I decided to rent a drum kit and, and do it myself, and that's what I use. So these are my hi-hat samples. As you can see, there's a ton of, there's a ton of, um, you know, variation to the samples. So hit me up if you'd like to, to check those out. I'll give you some more information on them. So let's add another, let's do another drum roll here. Okay, right about here, we're going to start a drum fill. So I'm going to move this kick on the one. I'm going to delete the hi-hat and the rim shot. And then I'm going to do a, a cymbal. Okay, so I want something to be like boom. Okay, and now I need to do toms. Symbol is too loud. Oh, wow. 
one. <laughs> All right, I mean, that sounds pretty good. Let's just look here. Okay, so it's not good. If I listen to the toms here. So what needs to happen is this needs to go. Yeah. So this one I moved perfectly in time. This one needs to go over closer to the four. Maybe this one. There we go. So this one could go a little bit further, I think, into our swing zone. And this one's in the swing zone. See, that's perfect. So this is in the swing timing. This is close to, you know, on time. This one's back on the swing. Then this one's on time. So swung, on time. On time, swung, on time. Let's hear that in context of the song. Another cool thing is to do the, the, the rim shot on the one. So let's do like a later on. So we could go like, so here, we're just gonna copy the kick over. And then I'm going to, kick was early, there. Okay, so we're gonna need another kick here because this is where our timbali is going to go. It's going to go right on the one. It's a good sounding one. Okay, and then I need to do an open hi-hat here. So let's hear that. Yeah. So I'm hearing like, you know, the I gotta delete the one rim shot there. And it's not, it needs to go a little bit later. Right? I think you guys get the idea. So um, let's just listen to the swung or the straight version. Like it doesn't sound bad, it just doesn't sound right. You know what I mean? See, every note is perfectly on a quarter note. See? That's the bass. And then let's go up to another spot. So here. We look at the bass. Bum. See that one's late. 121. Perfectly on time. Late. On time. Late on time. It's like boom ba doom ba doom. Ba doom. It's late. Ba doom boom boom ba doom ba doom. Let's just listen to it. It bounces along. Let's have some fun with some dub, just for fun at 
So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and I hope that you guys have learned something. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.